Hey, Traylon, this is Kim Smith with Titans PR. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I can hear you. Great. Congratulations. Welcome to the team. Thank you. Thank you. So the way this will work, we have some media um, group together in person that will go ahead and ask you some questions. They are able to see you, but you will not be able to see them as they have their cameras off. Right. So media, let's take it away. Hey, Traylon, did you, uh, did you have any sense this, this might be in the works uh, or were you taken completely su uh, by surprise by, by this tournament? Um, I actually, my high school head coach said it this morning that uh, the Titans were going to get me. So, I, I mean, I didn't believe him at the time, but then once I got the call, I was like, this dude is right. <laughs> Did you think, though, that you'd be partnered with A.J. Brown on the Titans when you imagine that scenario? Say it again. Did you think you'd be uh, you'd be teammates with A.J. Brown, though, when when you imagined that scenario? Uh, oh, yes, sir. You you know, that was that's always been a dream. I've looked up to AJ, you know, all my life, um, watched his highlights, you know, kind of mimic myself on certain things after him. And, uh, you know, it's just an honor. Traylon, do you, do you know that he got traded to the Philadelphia Eagles this evening? Oh, uh, yes, sir, I do. But, uh, a lot of people, Traylon, have, have compared you to AJ. Do you see some similar characteristics between yourself and, and AJ? Um, you know, um, I would say just like on our um, – how our bodies are, you know, they're similar, um, you know, but we also have different, you know, different things we bring to the table when we, you know, when we both play football. And, um, you know, he's a great player. And, um, you know, I'm just, you know, happy to be a part of the team now and, and just to play my role. What's that like to know that um, they they dealt him away and, and used the pick they got to bring you in kind of – you know, as, as his replacement? Um, I wouldn't say, um, you know, like I'm his replacement, but at the same time, you know, I'm just, like I said, I'm just thankful for the opportunity that they believed in me to make that trade and, um, you know, believe in me to uh, go out there and um, represent that organization like it's supposed to be represented. And, you know, that's what I'm going to do. Traylon, what are, what are your expectations for yourself coming in here as a rookie first round pick? Um, honestly, just to come in there and make a big impact on the team, um, change the culture around, um, be a part, and just, uh, you know, make that brotherhood a lot stronger and just be a team player. Traylon, how would you describe your game? What, what do you want Titans fans to know about the kind of receiver they're getting in you? Um, I would say uh, big, fast, physical, and fearless. Um, you know, that's my main thing. My great-grandpa always told me to be fearless because, um, you know, out there on the field, everybody's human. Um, that's a man just like I'm a man across from me. And, uh, you know, just go play my game and be myself. We've heard the story about your gloves being made for you special. Uh, can you show us your hands and just how big are your hands? <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty big. <laughs> you know, um, uh, Traylon, do you know much about the Titans or, or Ryan Tannehill or, or, you know, much at all about the team? Um, honestly, yes, sir. Um, I played Madden with uh, Ryan and uh, Derrick Henry. And, uh, you know, it's just, a, you know, just to be on the team with those guys and make a you – know, my dream to also have those type of leaders will make me, you know, go even harder every day in practice and everything just to, you know, be, be the best player that I can be for them. What do you think about Ryan Tannehill as a quarterback? Um, you know, tremendous respect for him. You know, he, you know, he, he takes care of his business the right way, um, you know, you know, everybody that take care of their business and just be their self, you know, it shows on the field. And, you know, that's that's one thing that I really like about them. How, how important to you was it to be like top 20 overall, top 15? What were what were you aiming for in terms of a number? Um, I'm not going to lie to you. You know, I didn't care where I got drafted. Um, if it was first round, second round, third round, I just want to play football. Right, you need more than 115. Play ball, be a part of, be a part of the organization wants me and um, just to represent it like it's supposed to. I know you played a lot of slot uh, last year at Arkansas, Traylon. Do you expect to be more on the outside or, you know, and, and I guess also do you feel like versatility is a strong suit for you? Uh, I would just say, you know, I'm willing to do whatever they want me to do. Um, you know, come in the first day, work hard, work my ass off, and uh, just, you know, do whatever the plan that they put in front of me and execute. Because they traded AJ to get you, obviously there are going to be lots of comparisons and things like that. Do you put any 
additional pressure on yourself to live up to the expectations? Uh, no, sir, not at all. Um, Cause I'm, I'm myself, I'm trailing birds. Um, I don't com like, like usually I don't compare myself to anyone cause I'm myself. Um, there's no other person like me. Um, and I, I handle my business the right way. And that's what I'm gonna do. Traylon, how prepared are you to come in and contribute right off the bat? I mean, your offense at Arkansas is, was, was it complex terminology? How much of a learning curve do you think you're gonna have? Um, honestly, that's not a, um, I wouldn't say that that's a problem. Um, you know, I'm coming in with, you know, 100% effort every day, and I'm going to make an impact on the team no matter what because I know God's right there by me and my great-grandfather is, so that doesn't really bother me at all. Okay, Kim, uh, if you want to get people uh, from the chat. Yep, uh, Teron. Yeah, Traylon, welcome to the Titans. Uh, I, I wanted to ask you just as far as, how the meetings with uh, Mike Vrabel, with John Robinson, how did those meetings go? And in those meetings, like, did you ever, you know, get a feel like you would be a, a really good fit for the Titans? Um, yes, sir. Uh, I would just say starting off, you know, um, I like the way that they, uh, how the organization is. Um, it's a strict organi organization. Um, it's about business. And all, 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 I would say all above, it's just, you know, um, come to work every day, give out max, maximum effort, and, um, you know, just be yourself. And I'll just say uh, Coach Braville, he does a great job and everybody else in that organization of, you know, putting the right guys out there to represent their uh, team. And I just can't thank him enough. Jim Wyatt. Trey Line, can you kind of where, – where did you watch the draft? And you kind of – can you tell us maybe what the emotions were like and maybe what transpired when you found out that uh, that this was going down? Uh, so I was in uh, Searcy, Arkansas with all my family, uh, my fiance's family. And, uh, you know, we, we had friends here and, um, you know, we had a good time sitting here. Um, I would just say, you know, the emotions, they weren't high just because, you know, I'm just the type of person that, you know, I'm grateful for wherever I go. So I didn't work my nerves up um, just because other guys went ahead of me or none of that, just because I know who I am and I know that God has a plan for me. And so, um, you know, I just enjoyed really the biggest emotion was just seeing everybody here that came out for me and supported me. Rex Road. Yeah, Traylon. Hey, I just wanted to go back on the, the sequence of events tonight. So did did the Titans inform you when they called you? Is that when you found out about AJ or did you find out AJ was being dealt before you got the call? And I guess what was your initial reaction just to the AJ part of it? Um, I would just say I was sitting there. Um, I got a phone call from uh, Tennessee and I looked at it and I was like, Wow, this is crazy. And, um, you know, I had looked on uh, Instagram afterwards and I saw that they had traded him to the Eagles. And, um, you know, I was just I was just like, you know, that could have been a, that was one of my dreams to also play with him. But also, uh, you know, I'm going to do what I do what I do best and, you know, just go out there and play football. And we'll wrap up with George Robinson. Hey, Traylon, um, you, you know, you mentioned your uh, your great grandfather there, um, you know, talk a little bit about that relationship and maybe what, um, you know, how that that's, you know, inspired you over the years, um, you know, particularly kind of growing up and uh, being an Arkansas kid and, and playing at Arkansas and, and now having this opportunity. Uh, um, I was just say, uh, great father, he played a big role in my life. Uh, you know, he he uh, I would just say I'm I'm his. uh He's Mufasa and I'm his symbol of, you know, just like father, like son. Um, you know, I mimic everything after him. Um, I go about my business correct way like he did. And, um, you know, I'm just doing whatever I'm doing, whatever, you know, I do just to make him proud. And, uh, you know, that's what means most to me. Last one, Kayla. Hey, Traylon, welcome to the team. Um, just on the note of being a Southern guy, SEC guy, uh, you're kind of staying in the South. I know you said it didn't really matter where you went, but do you feel even better about the fact you're not too far from home? Oh, yes, ma'am, 100%. Um, you know, it's good to be five hours away from home, uh, but also just to be in a good organization that I know that, you know, they're going to represent me like I'm supposed to and I'm going to re represent them like I'm supposed to.